Welcome to E3 on Twitch, the final day. And on our back, as promised. What's up? With Kingdom Come Deliverance. Toby, thank you for joining us, man. Thank you for inviting. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about this. I love open world RPGs, and I read some notes, I saw some videos, I'm excited to kind of like jump into this, but before we get started, what is Kingdom Come Deliverance? <laughs> That's something I ask myself pretty often. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Kingdom Come Deliverance is an open world RPG, as you said, right. but uh, it brings you back into the medieval ages. So it brings you back into Europe, and it brings you back in the year 1403. So we show you a game or a world, how it actually really was back then. So we have an open world RPG that, uh, well, leaves the magic and the dragons aside, but tries to have like realistic gameplay, real sword fighting, big castles, some fights and sieges and everything like that. So we try to be realistic and historically accurate. Oh, that's awesome. So I mean, like, do you, did you ever find that at some point, like, you know, like, constricting, like having to like, you know, keep it very like accurate? Well, <laughs> before we uh, coded or wrote the first code, we had to do a lot of research beforehand. Mm. So we had, we have a full-time historian in our team. Really? Yeah. Cool. Not only her, it's like even, even painters and sculptors wow. and people like that. Oh, wow. So that's, <laughs> it's, it's a video game, of course, but we are touching even like the cultural sphere or like art somewhere. But uh, as, as you said, we had to do a lot of research to have the historical facts. We are telling a story that really happened. So we, she had to find out what happened at this particular spot. Uh, we, we, we have chosen and yeah, so... So this is non-fiction? No, 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 no. You are, p yeah, well, you are playing as Henry, the son of a blacksmith. His, he, uh, he is fictional, uh. so you have the chance to tell his story. Gotcha. But the entire setting and the entire historical event we are talking about there cool. is something that really happened. And that's interesting because it's not only like the setting, like Bohemia, uh -huh. which is today's Czech Republic, but most of the NPCs you will meet or people will talk about, about the popes, about the kings, and mm -hmm. all those people really existed back then and did the stuff you will be able to play through. Oh, I love yeah. that. That makes me nerd out. So everything you kind of like hear and like see in the game is like, you know, like accurate, like you might actually be like learning while you're like having well, fun playing or, or not really. It, it definitely has its moments, right? right? So if you're interested in history, it, you, you can. We have like a codex there which introduces you to, to like back, uh, backstory. Right. But you don't have to, of course. It's just a video game. Yes. It's not a medieval simulation, even though we try to stay as realistic as possible. Right. But we have like the... If you wish to be more the fighting type, then of course there you grab the sword, you can have 15th century sword fighting, you can do the siege and stuff. But uh, on the other hand, if you decide to be more the, let's say, peaceful type, more the, like you want to learn a lot about the story, you want to talk to the people, you want to um, understand how the medieval age really looked like or worked back then, then just play the peaceful way and, well try to avoid fighting. That's something you can do. Oh, so you can do, you can go on the peaceful approach. I want, well, I want to like... Al <laughs> <laughs> almost. Well, there are, there, there, well... There are, it's a story that really happened, and there are castles that need to be sieged, there are fights right. that need to be fought, fight. There are wars that <laughs> happen, and they yes. need to be done, and right? Tho there, are, there are moments where you just have to grab your sword and, and try to survive. But on the other hand, there is a lot of questing in the game and a lot of skirmishes that might happen right. if you decide in the questing before that you want that the skirmish happens. So there's like a quest, and you have the chance to either persuade this guy to run away with his crew, or you say, you know what? You are screwed. <laughs> 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 we are going to get you, and then there's this fight. So you can avoid fighting, or you can go for it. I'm really interested in, w you were kind of walking through the village there and mm -hmm. seeing the surrounding, and you mentioned that it takes place in Bohemia, mm -hmm. which is interesting to me, because actually that's part of my family heritage. Oh, from oh wow. that's, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, and when it was Bohemia, not uh -huh. when it was the Czech Republic. So I'm really interested to learn a little bit more about this setting and how it was chosen and how real we can, we can see. Well, we have chosen, well, th the studio, Warhol Studio, is located in Prague. That's the capital of Czech Republic. And this Kingdom Come Deliverance takes, uh, Deliverance takes place around 30 miles, 50 kilometers south of our studio. Mm -hmm. So we, ha we, are, we went there a lot. We took pictures of all the castles, churches. Cool. We bought a satellite height map of the area. We even scanned trees and plants and everything to make it as realistic as possible to have the best trees, forests, cool. setting, whatever. But sometimes it's easy when you have like this castle or these runes which are still standing, so you just can mm -hmm. like picture them and then transfer them into the game. But sometimes it, get, it gets pretty hard because there's a church which is completely destroyed. Right. Gone. Right. And then our uh, historian um, comes and all our sculptors and, and painters and they have to rebuild all, wow. the, all the broken stuff. And it's, it's easy to build the church, but then we also want to allow you to go inside them. And right. inside there were like huge uh, frescas and, and mm. church paintings and everything. So then our historian needs to talk with our painters about what type of church wow. was this. It was probably St. Barbara, for example, and typically they used these kind of paintings. So we try to recreate 
how it really was back then. That's so if amazing. you play Kingdom Come Deliverance, I think that's maybe the closest you can get if you are interested in medieval in the medieval life somehow. Well, you have a lot of RPGs. And who isn't, right? I mean, I love, like, I yeah. grew up, like, yeah. wanting to, like, you know, like, learn about the entire, like, period. Like, history class, that was, like, my, like, highlight. Mm -hmm. Well, you have a lot of RPGs that have this medieval setting. Somehow, right. even Skyrim, Witcher, name them. But then they add this magical element to it, which is cool, of course. I like right. it as well. I, I right. also prefer to uh, f uh, be a mage and stuff. Sure. But <laughs> in Kingdom Come, you have, like, the real deal. You know, there's, like, the, the sword fighting is what's, what's the important part. Because it's not just a button measure. You really... Right have to dig it, you really have to learn it and go through it. You put a lot of love into the battle system, right? Exactly. So, like, how, how do you kind of keep true to how, like, you know, that works? Well, I, I like to compare it to Dark Souls a little bit, because even though you have the best sword and the best armor, for example, you can get, you will still eventually die from the <laughs> easiest opponent you will encounter, because what we have is we, we invited real sword fighters to the studios to show us how wow. the 15th century uh, sword fighting looked like. We then explained them why this is not possible. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and together we created a, a very good compromise, which is m maybe the best depiction of medieval sword fighting in a video game, at least. Could However, there's like, if you're fighting with someone, you are locked to a person, which right. you can always unlock, so don't, don't be angry. You've got freedom. You right, can, right. Yeah. And you have this uh, rose in the middle when right. you when, uh, stick to your opponent, and then you can choose from five different angles where you want wow. to attack. You can attack the head, shoulders, bottom left, right, and you can even stab. And it's a little bit like Tekken, so if you combine those attacks, like up, left, right, something like this, uh -huh. you do combos, you can throw him on the ground. Wow. So the, it's very easy to have the basics, like the stab and the slash. Everyone can do that, so it's a little bit let's, <laughs> like FIFA. Everyone can, everyone <laughs> can pass and shoot. Right. But if you want to do the tricks, if you want to do the combos, you really need to have that skill. And that's what I said earlier, when the easiest opponent can kill you in the beginning of the game and also in the end of the game. Right. If you are not skilled with your thumbs, if you're not fast enough with your th thumbs, if you don't like learn it somehow, then you are screwed, even with the best armor and best. Uh, you're a fragile life, and you're not in some world with like you know magical shields and you know like health yes. potions or whatever, right? Or, or are there health potions? I have no idea. Well, we have. Well, again, we 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 want to create a realistic game, but then you need to do compromises. Yeah, it's fun, just right? a video game, right? right. So <laughs> exactly. There are there are potions. There is food. There is if you sleep, you regain energy. But to make it at least a little bit like believable or realistic we we if you drink a potion or eat something it doesn't like your energy doesn't go up immediately right. it will just raise slowly oh. and, and in battle you can't take them so oh. you can do it before or after and then if you eat something it will slowly but you cannot eat 10 apples only two because then you get <laughs> over stuff and so on so we want to have some small mechanic to regulate it but still it, there must be a way how you like okay, regain is, energy. Is retreat an option? Like, let's say I get myself. Well, actually, even like surrender is an option. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, oh. so if you if you mess up with the guards, for example, and right. they go uh, about to to hunt you down, they give you the chance to surrender. If you do so, everything will be fine. You pay your fine, for example, or can go. It depends on the situation. If you decide not to surrender, then you can run away. The other way, or fight him. The other way around, if you feel like, or if you fight with opponents, it might happen that they surrender to you, and then you are on the trigger actually you can decide do I want to kill him or not what's the benefit of not killing him out of curiosity well it did well I guess personal karma oh <laughs> eh, who needs and that on, man on, on, the, on the on the other hand there's a reputation system so if ah. you do, and a crime system so if you do bad stuff it will like shoot back so the game reacts to kind of the choices you make though, oh, yeah. right I think we should like jump into that for a little bit yes yes that's, that's a little bit what I meant earlier earlier with the skirmish when I said you don't have to fight if you don't want to uh, depending on your choices some of the quests, not all of them of course, but some of the quests, quests will play totally different. So there's this one particular thing you need to gain or achieve, but we don't tell you how. So you need to try to find a way how you can do it. So it might be the peaceful way. You try to pursue this guy and, well, he might, might do it or not. But you can also try to ask your friends in a mission to help you to beat this guy up to get the stuff you want. So there are a lot of options. And in this skirmish, we will see it in a second, there is a big oh. skirmish happening later in right. the game, or there will be several skirmishes and, f and fights in the game. Uh, but this will be a finale of a quest line. Right. And as I said, that's really interesting and important that this skirmish will all only happen if you have decided several particular choices before in this quest. Because there is this lord who uh, wants to attack the... Well, there's a bandit. A uh, guy hiding in the forest, right? right? Yep. And and your lord tells you to we need to kill this dude. And if you go there beforehand, you will have the chance to talk to him and tell him, listen, you need to go away because we will come and we will kill you. Ah. Oh. And he might go. If he does so, and you go back to your lord, he might be pissed because he will say, mm. he is an outlaw. 
we wanted to kill him, we had to catch him, and this will have some other, well, it will resolute in another outcome of the quest, and yeah. these kind of stuff will happen. The fi sorry, the final goal of the game, the, like, the, the, the thing that you need to achieve in Kingdom Come is always the same, there's one ending, but how you get there, which way to choose, mm. if you have this kind of gameplay, this kind of game is up to you, and that's funny because if you will talk to your friends and you can say, yeah, I had this big skirmish, your friend might say, What's Gurmy? Have a different experience, right? <laughs> exactly. That's really cool. So, like, where, um, number one, when's the game coming out? Uh, on February 13th, Ooh. 2018. Oh, wow. All right. One All day right. for my birthday. And uh, oh, hey. <laughs> right time, one day before Valentine's Day. So, make your girlfriends and yeah. wives buy uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's so romantic. And this is uh, PC? PC, PlayStation, PlayStation, and Xbox. Oh, that's awesome. And where can people go to find out more? Well, if you visit kingdomcomerpg.com or at Warhol Studios on whatever uh, social media platform you use, you will find all the information you need. That's awesome. The game looks like a lot of fun. Love how it reacts to you in the world and just the battle. The trueness of that is really yeah. cool. So, Toby, thank you very much. And Anna, I'm looking forward to seeing what you discover in yeah, the game, right? Yeah, me too. That go. looks like so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. Thank so, you guys, oh, yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. And, guys, thanks for joining us today. Right there, we've got some more E3 action coming for you right after this.